Thank you, Mr. Honkinen. From Ukraine, Mr. Goncharenko. Mr. Goncharenko, the floor is yours. I have my personal experience of so-called Russian justice. A year ago, I went to Moscow just to say goodbye to Mr. Boris Nemtsov, who was killed in 100 meters from Kremlin, one of the leaders of Russian opposition. After this, just for nothing, I was arrested and I spent half a day in the Russian police department. I was beaten. Uh, lawyers and doctors were not allowed to visit me. And only after big international pressure and international media coverage, I was released. So I want to tell you that Putin spits on uh, immunity. Uh, Russia, for the moment, it is a real terroristic country, not only aggressor, that they occupied Crimea and part of Ukrainian eastern uh, Donbass, but also it is a terroristic country. What other country can take hostages, keep them, and try to sell them for something? About uh, Nadia Savchenko, I just want to tell you that today here, in this hall, there is uh, uh, one of lawyers of Nadia, Mr. Ilya Novikov. He and he, two his friends, Mr. Fagin and Polozov, they were working and trying to defend Nadia Savchenko for almost two years. And it, they are very courageous people, because you cannot even imagine what it means to be in today's Russia, to be an oppositioner or a uh, lawyer of political prisoner. And they can tell you a lot of about this uh, so-called court. It wasn't court. If somebody from you is interested, I can uh, uh, communicate to you with him, and he will tell you a lot of about this. So I just want to stress one point, that uh, the agreement, we are hoping that there is agreement about Nadia Savchenko between President Poroshenko and President Putin. But this agreement is not about Minsk agreements. Uh, the Russian Federation does not uh, dismiss the accusation against Savchenko. They only, we hope, will agree for exchange of Nadia. That's all. It's not about Minsk agreement one more time. And I want to tell you that Russian leadership, they don't show any goodwill in fulfilling points five and point six of Minsk agreement and the whole Minsk agreement at all. Because still there is fire there. Still there are Russian forces there. And this is not about Minsk agreement. This is only about international pressure on Mr. Putin's regime, which now we hope will give some results. I want to ask all of you, you are representing countries of uh, different uh, countries of Europe. We need more sanctions against Russia. And even don't give anybody, because there are many pro-Russian forces in different countries, don't give them an opportunity to raise a question about softening sanctions against Russia. Because the sanctions is the only thing which holds back Putin from bigger war. You need to understand this. And if you will soften the sanctions, oh, there will be no sanctions against Russian Federation, you can wait Russian uh, fire planes, Russian nuclear submarines in your waters, in your uh, air, in your, on your territory. Because the only way we can stop this empire from their aggressive behavior is to make the pressure on them and economic sanctions, they really work. I want to say thank you to Rapporteur because this is a great work. And I want to say you that we need to hold pressure against this regime until the last hostage will be released. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Goncharenko.